everyone um, that's going through. What do you think you did right to get your back into the finals? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's like probably what we did right, but the fact that I think that each act trusted us. And I think that having that trust and, you know, being involved and ha having passion, you know what I mean? I actually watched these two in their mentoring sessions and when they're watching their acts and they just look so excited, you know what I mean? And ready and, and to just work hard and they're passionate. The passion is still there. I also think, I mean, last night something clicked. It really, really did. It was like watching a different show, to be honest with you. They, they started to look and sound like proper recording artists. And then we saw it, you know, on the iTunes chart. And Alex and Sarah got three in the top ten. It just doesn't happen. Jeff at number four. Um, so when you're competing with real artists, you know, who've got a careers, something just, it just all worked last night. You know, a few weeks ago, I'm sitting there thinking, this isn't working. And then last night, it was like, we're back on track. They're ready for the real world. You all, three of you have mentioned like people have texted you or told you ideas. What's going to play into, like, are you going to take into consideration that when you're moving into next week? Yeah, I'll be texting Kelly some suggestions for her act. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be pressing delete. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that they should actually stay on whatever mental cloud they're on right now because like Simon said they are in a zone they need to stay in that zone because they feel like they are just ready to go for it they really do an animal instinct uh, you know what, how I'm looking at it now because of what happened last night I think you know I'm gonna go in it with the attitude of I want the number one record the following week and at the end of the year that's gonna be my attitude going into the final with these two so we got to do something really special it seemed that uh, yesterday with Restless Road, you were kind of asking for America's votes. Did you see the writing on the wall? I felt it a little bit, mainly because Jeff was so strong and Carlito suddenly just transformed. His confidence kicked in. The Mark Antony song I thought was great, and actually Mark cleared that song at the last minute, so thank you, Mark. Actually, not thank you, Mark. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> but... Um, you know, like I said, he, he, he looked suddenly like a, like a real-life artist rather than a talent show contestant. Yeah. So, I, yeah, to answer your question, I, I was nervous. Um, Carlina, uh, Carlina was telling us that he would love to sing with Mark Anthony next week. Is that something that's in the works? And have the other finalists uh, talk to you guys about who they would like to perform with? I think Carlito can do whatever he wants from now on. I don't know if it's possible next week because, you know, um, short notice is not always the best but Carlito for now and I think can do any collaborations that he will crickets <laughs> could you talk a bit about the iTunes thing that Simon just how happy you are about you have so many on the charts right now yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what the stat is, but it's just like a crazy amount of numbers. I mean, Jeff's got six in, in, the, in the top ten, I think, on the rock chart. Alice and Sarah have got three in the, in the main chart in the top ten, including the number one position. Um, so, you know, that tells you that you're getting it right. Because up until, up until this point, we weren't really reacting well enough, I think, on iTunes. And trying to find it on iTunes is quite difficult as well. You've got to really navigate your way onto it. But uh, it's an incredible platform. Um, and it just shows you that people are really interested in their music. And I always say this about these shows. You know, you don't want to end the year thinking, I've just got a winner and so what. You want to think it's the birth of their career. And, and they've, all three of them, I've got to be honest with you, really started to focus on that. Yeah. I know you want to keep the thing surprised for, for everybody, but uh, will any of the ladies be performing next week? You have to ask them. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Yes, I am. We're going to perform. I'm going to perform, and I wish we could perform the three girls, and of course, with Simon on the top. <laughs> I actually think Simon should put a backwards cap on and be a rapper. That's what we want. We wanted to get him a little bit drunk and then do something with <laughs> him on stage. <laughs> he loves beer. Do you love beer? Maybe tequila. Let's see. Okay. Simon, you saw that last 
year if Harmony and the three did not win to put it on two careers? And then you guys signed them. Do you see that happening with any of the top four contestants? Road. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Restless Road don't get a deal. I really do. I mean, they, they did well. It was unfortunate. We just didn't make it all the way. But uh, I see a market for them. I think when we did that song, not this week, the week before, uh, the Avicii song, and that was kind of a point of what they should be doing. How are you doing, Kelly? Do you think Simon's ever given the wrong sign? Do you think Simon's ever given the wrong sign to his groups? Uh, yeah, I yeah, obviously did. last night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody can make good and bad decisions. It's all about uh, great talent that they really trust us. And if they deliver it, you know, you have to deliver the hell out of a song and show people how you own a song. But I think we've made some really great choices, especially towards the end as well. What's been the highlight of the season for you so far? It was going to number one last week and this week with uh, Alex and Sierra. That was the that was the buzz. That's when you kind of think, like I said, it, this, we're, we're now making the right decisions, um, and it's reacting outside of the competition. It, it, it was a real blast, and I was watching Gravity all last night, and it was getting closer and closer and closer, and then eventually it hit number one. It was fantastic. I think Carlito is being doing great. The fact that um, all contestants, not all, but uh, Alex and Sierra, Jeff, and Carlito did it in, into iTunes, this doesn't happen on a reality show. Uh, but I think S Factor has this, and, and we're looking for um, a recording artist, and that's why they are on iTunes, and that's the reflection of the boat. Okay, we're going to have our contestants join now. Jump in, guys. Somebody. Hey, guys. I had chicken legs. Where we did. Uh, I think as long as he signed a lifelong recording co recording contract with me, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no options. Uh, I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't invited, literally. <laughs> Uh, there was a lot of them. No, I haven't looked at them. There's a lot of clothes. I mean, it's like I'm having a like hundred kids right now. There's that many. <laughs> so you had some great success with the One Direction movie. Might we see from Alex to Sierra? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But I have high hopes for these two outside of the competition. I really, really do. I think they've done brilliantly. And from when they first started, I was thinking tonight from that first kind of quirky audition. And I really liked the two of them at the time, but I was wondering, are they going to really take this seriously? And, and before you got in there, we were just saying the last two weeks, just something just transformed. Alex has always been consistent. And then Sierra suddenly got her confidence up. And it was just one of those amazing things to watch. Um, and two weeks ago, when they did that final performance, I remember thinking, this is the moment you're going to remember. You know, it's when everything changed. We say something. To all the finalists, I think it was really exciting to <coughs> you guys singing when you were either singing for your life or singing for votes. Yet, I mean, especially you, Carlito, you looked so happy. Um, can you talk a little bit about getting that chance to perform without having to worry about all of that? Ah, uh, dude, I almost lost my mind. I was, <laughs> I was just like jumping around the stage. I did not want that moment to end. I'm still, I still can't believe it. But you know, like I'm, I'm thankful to each and every, uh, uh, all of the judges that have really just made sure to tell me that I can be better and better and better each and every week. I love you guys so much. Um, and I just, see I'm, I, I, I'm the happiest man in the world. And it felt so good to just be on that stage and have, you know, it's the competition is not over, of course, but it just felt so good to be recognized for how much hard work has been. And put into this and and uh, yeah I couldn't be happier man I was losing my mind as you could tell <laughs> for a second I thought he had a little bit too much sugar backstage <laughs> <laughs> I, swear, I saw him dance on the ceiling for a second I was like okay boo <laughs> it was so cute <laughs> yeah for Alex and Sierra with uh, Jeff and Carlito peaking at the perfect time does that help or hurt your chances in your eyes 
for, for the finale next week? I think it's incredible that they're doing so well. You know, we want to be up against the best of the best, and I think that, you know, the people that we've been up against in this competition are are the best of the best. And, you know, we've gotten this far doing what we've done, and I think that as long as we continue to do that, then we'll still be able to fight in this competition. So. Yep. Hey, can you just grab one of the mics here in the corner so we can do sure. Uh, Sorry about that. <coughs> Didn't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Sierra, you're the last well, girl standing. How does it feel? Oh my, that's weird. I don't know. I'm kind of tired of being around boys all the time because they talk about hot girls and stuff. I but don't. He doesn't. Do he just texts. Or something. Yeah, Alex. Alex is not really know. allowed if, to. If someone told me I would be the last girl in the competition for my first one, I would be like, "You're crazy. Sorry, but I don't know. It's cool." <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, you had a very emotional uh, moment last night with, with Jeff, and uh, you've been on, you've been in his shoes many, many times. Can you talk about, and Jeff too, feel free to talk about that dynamic of judging versus performing and, and all the, the, the energy and, and the passion that goes into that. Yeah, well, first of all, I just want to say thank you to Kelly for everything. She's helped me through some really hard times and helped me come out of my shell when I had a lot of walls around me and I used to hide behind those as a performer. Um, and she's really helped me just break through those walls and, and to express that, that kind of freedom is something I can't really put into words. And to see her break down like that, it, it completely broke my heart. And I want to go out there and give her a hug, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want security to... To, yeah, <laughs> kick my butt. <laughs> no, not at all. I, those were honestly happy tears, and and tears like just because I'm really happy for Jeff, and I'm thankful that he trusted me above anything. I said that yesterday. It's a really dynamic relationship, no matter what relationship you have. But like ours was just so unique, in the fact that I know how he put up all these walls, and I'm just like I just want to get through, you know, so that he can put those walls down and show us who he is, and he's done that, and I'm. I'm just very grateful to him and happy that he's here. The best thing I heard Jeff say all of last, to that the whole series was on that tape when you when you're in the sing-off and you actually said, you know what, I actually want to kill the competition because that is how the music business works. Yeah. You can't be nice and succeed. And I've been on so many shows that they all say they love each other. They can like each other, but they shouldn't actually love each other because they don't. It's all about winning. And I saw that in you yesterday, and I absolutely respect you for that. <laughs> Thank you, you and I are going to be good friends. We Thank might you. not have much of a future then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you a promise. Okay. <laughs> we might have trouble. Um, you two are fine. You can love each other. It's better than anybody else. <laughs> right. You saying how we were last season and now a full circle moment. It's charging in the iTunes top ten. What's that feel like? Oh, man. It's, you know, it's a story in itself just to be able to sing that song again because I've been trying to live up to that. To that moment last year at my audition it was um, something I've been trying to live up to ever since then because it was such a raw emotional moment for me and it was one of those moments where I, I somehow I did let, I let those walls down because it meant it, it meant so much in that moment and I've been trying to do that ever since and to have that song be America's Choice meant that it meant something to them too and uh, being able to do that again was um, it was amazing I, I can't even put that into words so I don't even know what to say about that. I'm glad it's doing well. <laughs> Jeff, were you able to talk to your dad and son after the results tonight? Uh, I talked to my dad because my dad was here. I haven't talked to my son um, since two days ago. So um, I'm going to call him probably tomorrow since he's probably already in bed but because he's on the East Coast-ish. Ish. Ish. Congratulations <laughs> on the success of the 1D movie. <clears throat> Huge hit, and it's coming out on DVD just in time for Christmas. 17th of December. What Lots of need? footage you haven't seen before. What if you're a One Direction fan, you'll love it. It's even better than the movie. <laughs> you have to buy the DVD to see that. <laughs> if I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> he means that, by the way. <laughs> Mario, you almost gave us a heart attack with that pause. Um, that commercial break and stuff before announcing the first finalist. Um, what was going through your head when you did that? Well, I try to have my best poker face and not get any <laughs> indication with eyebrows or whatever looking at any uh, particular uh, uh, contestant when I'm about to say it. And I'm a horrible poker player, so I'm surprised I pulled it off. But, you know, it was all about building the, the tension and the drama. And I think that I'm so excited just on a personal level for all these finalists because they're, they're all extremely different. They're all so talented. And I think uh, at this point, as we've seen in many of other Simon shows, that 
they can all prosper and not necessarily have to win because they have they're already at the uh, at the final playing field. But we're all trying to win. Though. But obviously that's the ultimate goal, and they want to win. But that's a nice uh, it's nice to know that that can still happen. Mario, do you see a pattern similar to last year, whereas um, I think people would think that Claudia was the underdog and well, that's case in point to what I was just saying. Those two, for example, didn't win, but yet they're going on tour with Demi. They're uh, they're, they're both going on tour. They're both being successful. Um, and Carlito's like our Rocky this season. He was in the bottom yeah. two a couple times. And I think what resonated with America is they really appreciate when someone wants it so bad and you mm -hmm. can see them fighting. And I think he really struck a chord, not to mention he had his best performances, um, I think. And, uh, Thanks, buddy. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's going to be interesting next week. A couple more questions? Um, so Alex has said uh, the reason he came to the show was so that he could hear from you what he thought of your music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you talked a little bit like to hear the point of view of what your work, work relationship is like in general and how you pick the songs and how you have some discussions sometimes. <laughs> Well, actually, I think they've chosen more songs than I have, to be honest with you. I mean, that's the relationship we've had from day one. And when you have that relationship, you you know, and, and you can trust them, it, it works. I mean, I always agree. I mean, but uh, in the main, sorry, babe, I think, you know, it's been a, it's what I wanted the relationship to be. I, I wanted it to be a partnership, not me saying you've got to sing this, you've got to sing that. It doesn't work that way. Um, so we're going to have some... Conversations now about next week. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. I know one song that won't be on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was that. <laughs> I um, I played my first gig 21 years ago, and um, it's been a really long road. It's been a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and I never knew if this moment was going to come. And to stick with it through all that time, even though I never knew this moment was going to come, and now to have it here um, means everything to me. Um, you know, I've been I've been fighting for so many years just to be able to be in a position to where, you know, I could just love what I do and and, and my job be full time music and. Um, you know, I feel like there's been a void in the market for a Latin artist um, for a long time. I remember back in the day, you turning on the radio, there was nothing but Latin artists dominating radio. And um, that kind of faded away. And I definitely want to be able to bring back, you know, the true R&B and hip hop. And I definitely want to, you know, put a new Latin face to music. And uh, we'll still at the same time just be able to tour, tour all around the world. And I feel like... Um, just being here, it's just it's it's my chance, and it's 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 a, it's an amazing opportunity, and I'm I'm so in love with life right now, and I'm just so blessed, and I mean uh, I just want to represent for for everybody that ever struggled and everybody that never thought anything like this could happen. I'm I'm living, we're all living proof that anything is possible. We're just regular average Joes, and now all of a sudden we're the top three and on, on, on one of the biggest shows in the world. So it's Thanks, it's, it's amazing. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. okay, a bit of a Mario that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we didn't even think our audition tape would get watched at all. Yeah. So, to make it to the finals means a lot, not just as artists and singers, but as people I know. Me, I've, I don't know, it means a lot that I came in not really thinking I could sing at all. And so, I guess it means I can if we made it this far, unless he's just carrying the team. But, no, no, we, I mean, we haven't been at it as long as, like, say, Jeff. Uh, but, you know, we you still want it just old? as bad. We've, we've got to fight. And I think that the, the finals are going to be a really, really good show. I think you're going to see something next week which we haven't seen for a long time. You've got three artists who represent the area of music really, really clearly here. Uh, and they're all really good. And I think this is going to be a proper, proper battle. And I'm going in it now with these guys, obviously, to win it. But we've got stiff competition. Um, you but better I know it. Feel like, <laughs> feel like we've got recording artists competing with each yes. other. I like this feeling. All right, thank you, everybody. That concludes the conference. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Charlie. You guys. By the way. All right. I'm yeah.